Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a Bible code. It's called Torah Code. And the Torah is the first five books of the Tanakh, or the Old Testament. And the Torah Code is here, going up in the red. And it's found at a skip of 13,511. But we're just searching within this little window frame for what words are right around the access term Torah code. It spans from Genesis 7 to Deuteronomy chapter 8. Code shows up again at the same skip as the access term. Here is code in the red with the black lettering. And then it's over here to the left, code E, and that's plural for codes. In the blue here, we have the word computer. It's interesting that it parallels exactly our access term, but it's double the skip of the letters because it's every second line instead of every line. Here we have the word ephod, and that's a way that Yahuwah would speak to the high priest and answer questions. And in a way, these Torah codes are giving us information from Yahuwah, who I believe encoded them within the scriptures. We have Torah in the teal, and it's twice in this line crossing over our access term. So the T, the T, uh, Ta, Wa, Resh, He, and then within that Torah we have another one here, sharing the Resh in the other Torah. So I like that we actually have two Torahs crossing this Torah. Another Torah is found within this word here. This word is acceleration or hurrying. That relates to how computers have now given us the ability to look for Bible codes within Scripture with Bible code programs. And the Torah that I mentioned is here, the last four letters going backwards in acceleration. It spells Torah. Here in this plum color, Zaphon means hidden or secret. And then we have here Megola, and that means revealed. And it can also mean scroll. So the Torah codes were hidden in Scripture and then revealed at the appointed time that Yahuwah determined and Moad is here in the white with the orange lettering. That means appointed time. At the fullness of time, the Bible codes were created, and now we can see the results, some of the results of what was hidden in the scrolls. Now these Bible codes are found in the scripture, and they're found in rows or lines, and that's here. And you can see all these words are in lines. You know, they may be going diagonal or vertical or horizontal, but they're all in a row. Terminology is in this white with the light green lettering. And again, all these words that are going vertical like this, they're all listed sideways down here, and they're all words that are going the same skip as our access term, Torah code. Words are made up of syllables, and here is the word syllable, and it's right beside terminology or words. Clever is here in this light teal, and I believe these Bible codes are clever, very smart of Yahuwah to put them in. 
And here is the word convincing or cogent. And I believe that that means the Bible codes will help convince people that the scriptures, the Bible is not a normal book. It is a divine book. And within this word, convincing or persuasive, we have Mishkan, which is the tabernacle that Moses was commanded to build to house the presence of Yahuwah. We have the word understandable here in this white with the green lettering and it's sharing some letters in some other words. So it's these four letters means understandable or understood. Intelligence is here. These Bible codes were created by an intelligent mind. Alive is in this gold color going across horizontal. And there's a verse in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, that says, The word of Yahuwah is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. So I see that as relating to the word of Yahuwah being alive. Kadosh is in the yellow. And that means holy or set apart or sanctified. What are some of the results of discovering these Bible codes? I believe one of the results will be amazement in this blue color going down diagonally is amazement or wonder. In this pink is the word assurance or faith. Seeing these Bible codes can help strengthen our faith or even give us faith that there is an intelligent mind that created and gave us the scriptures. Confirmation is in this light green. This is in the plain text of scripture but it's made up of parts of two different words in the, the plain Hebrew scripture. Evidence is here in this green, going diagonal. And Bible codes, I believe, give us evidence of that creative and intelligent mind. Commandment is here in the brown. Yahuwah has given us his commandments, his guidelines in the scripture. Over in the top left is Yeshua, and he is also called the Word. And the next few words I'm going to show you have to do with the Messianic kingdom. And Yeshua had told us when he came 2,000 years ago that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And so if it was at hand 2,000 years ago, think how much closer it is now. And Yeshua will reign from Jerusalem on the throne of David. And the word messianic is here in the white with the purple lettering. Kingdom is in this dark purple. Moriah is here in the white with the pink lettering. And that's where the temple was built on Mount Moriah. And that's where Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac. Zionist is here in this mauve. And today it's been given a bad connotation, Zionism. But what I see Zionism being a Zionist is for the, the Messianic kingdom, Yeshua reigning from Jerusalem. And Zion is another word for Jerusalem. We have the word soul or spirit here. Neshama. The word prophet is here in the white with the blue lettering. And Samuel was a prophet or a seer as an example. Now there are some scriptures that I've highlighted that go through this portion of the Bible code. And this here 
is from Genesis chapter 49, verse 10, where it says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes. And Shiloh is a reference to the Messiah. So the part that I've highlighted says, From Judah the scepter shall not depart. This next line here, going across here, is from Exodus chapter 34, verse 10, which says, All the people among which thou art shall see the work or the handiwork of Yahuwah. I believe that that's what the Bible codes are showing, the handiwork of Yahuwah, and just how creative and omniscient and amazing he is to put these codes for us to find. And this last little section here, this line comes from Numbers chapter 6, and that chapter talks about the Nazarite vow being set apart unto Yahuwah. There's the word again, kadosh, which means set apart. And this little part says, He separates himself unto Yahuwah. He shall be holy. And so these codes are set apart by Yahuwah for us to find in these last days to help us to understand that he has given us messages to reinforce our faith and to give us hope in the kingdom that is to come. And so thank you for taking the time to listen to this Bible code. May Yahuwah richly bless you. Shalom.